It's easy doing it with this person because he has been in my life uh, a rock, uh, the most loyal supporter, and there are many, but he definitely is in that tier of just like, I can always just go like this, you know, and he's he's been with me day one in a certain way of, of, of you know, me coming to this country and so glad that Joe's Pub has given us the media ability to, you know, curate this series. Uh, for all of you that have been watching, they've been wonderful. First week we had the great Charles Anthony Bryan. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Vuyo. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Chanel was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we come to the, this papa. <laughs> Russell Alexander Hoy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. And you know, Russell, if, if you've been aware of him, his rise uh, in the music community in New York, but also, you know, throughout the world too, he's become uh, someone with who has not only brought something to this music uh, that is real, but, you know, his, his humanity is, is very special, you know, his spirit, his heart. So it's always to, to any blessing I get, I like to also always try and have him in it because he's been with me in a certain way. You know, this is music that I just told him, you know, do it from the African Caribbean sphere, but also do it from a Robert Nesta Marley energy. And, and we say Robert Nesta Marley, why? Because what, what, what is he to you? Well, you know, <clears throat> he would have been 75 mm. years old this, Aquarius. this year, Aquarius. Mm. And he is somebody that transcended Jamaican culture, transcended the world's culture, mm -hmm. and brought real anthems at the peak of, you know, the rise of the civil rights movement, um, not just in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. but in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and in Europe and in Japan and all over the world. And for somebody that comes from a place as small as Jamaica, you know, a mixed race man, you know, father was... That's true. Father was, you Captain know... Captain Marley. Captain Marley. And then... Mama C. Mama C. Sidella. Uh -huh. and, and then to grow up as a mixed race man in Jamaica, yeah. but assimilate to his African uh, roots and to, to become black. We even, never, we never really, had to, that is a deep one. Yeah, it, I think about The biracial that. man being brought up in the African Caribbean culture yeah. who makes the choice, hmm, I don't know if it is a choice for him, but definitely goes in, decides this is this life and spirit I am. Yeah, and, and, especially in <clears throat> Jamaica at the rise of the Rastafari movement and at the rise of Marcus Garvey's mm -hmm. teachings being mm -hmm. spread around the world and, and mm -hmm. at the rise of, of black people as a, as a collective consciousness mm -hmm. and throughout the diaspora, not just in the Caribbean, but also in America yeah. and over in London. Because that's, that's true, yeah. yeah. That's true, the Rind Rush and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, for me, Bob Marley's music is... It's filled with all of that. Especially, you know, you can hear it as his sound starts to evolve. He lives in Delaware for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> how, how has he, for you, has this amazing journey, too, of, of being an African-Caribbean man, born, raised, and then raised also in the Americas, you know? And then, for all of us, I even know for me, as, a, as an African-born person and being raised in Europe, it, we are finding our identity. So, like, for you, how has Bob Marley helped your process of finding yourself more as this black man, as this Caribbean man? Like, ha has he helped in that way, too? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> he has, for me, helped solidify, you know, a way of living that is more holistic and closer to the earth, mm -hmm. which is what I think, you know all African diasporic religion, spirituality teaches, whether it's Rastafari, whether it's Ifa, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, vo Vodou mm -hmm. in, in Benin, regardless of where it is, even if it's Islam, which is, true. you know, that's throughout true. the diaspora, it all teaches, you know, respect to the earth. And mm -hmm. I think that's what Bob's message overarching is, you know, it's give peace and love and happiness to others because they deserve it. 
every, we are all the meek and mild and trying to inherit the earth. So mm-hmm. I think, you know, I think that's what resonates with every culture with Bob Marley's music and why it's so timeless and, and yeah. Type of activity. You will have had the eminence of disorder and violence within the school and outside the school. And whether or not it breaks out in the school, it could break out in other sections of the city. Governor, the plan for gradual integration in Little Rock, Arkansas, was drawn up by the Little Rock School Board back in 1955. Now, how is it that in the past two years, you as governor have failed to see to it that the road was properly paved for integration here in Little Rock? And other cities throughout the border states of the South have done. Our school districts are an autonomous part of government, a very independent part of government in themselves. And there are eight public school districts within the state that have been created in the state colleges.
and have carried them out with credit to themselves and the state and the nation and the citizenry as a whole. And I, I believe that each person should be judged upon his individual merits and that it should not apply to races or classes or groups. So whether we like it or not, it is applying to a race. And why then, the what I mean, why, why the violence? Why did you expect the violence? What would be the limit of potential violence? on the part of these whites. Now, naturally, the Negroes are not going to be violent. They simply want to go ahead and go to school with the whites, according to the audience. <laughs> it's interesting how you see in him the, the, the awakening, in a sense of like, when we first listen to Bob Marley, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's Sam Cooke and James Sam, Brown. Yeah, yeah, they're it's coming out of the like, soul. It's coming out of the soul. like mean. black Americans. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a consciousness where, okay, now we have the Bob Marley we know and love, which is protest singer. Protest singer. Shake. He's just, yeah, that's all yeah, he is about. Like black rocker kind of aesthetic, mm -hmm, you know, mixed mm -hmm. with... Mixed with the, the but like black rocker aesthetic assimilated with the African consciousness, uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh. it's it, it and it's deep. It's so parallel to like somebody like Jimi Hendrix, yeah. or or you or Mr. Brown, you know, or Stevie Brown. Wonder. It's this. I don't know. You're right. It's this freedom of expression through you know the fashion uh -huh. and song and the, the outreach of people. You know, you see Bob Marley, and he's getting introduced by Dick Gregory, who's one of the most holistic comedians that ever lived that, you know that, figured out that, a way of that, dr sebi style yep, you know dietary yep. thing and figured out you know how to communicate with hundreds and thousands mm. of millions of, of people in afro america for you now strongest bob marley protest songs give me your top three top oh, four man and name them, and then tell me why this one. Bye bye. War, if it's this one or that one. You know, oh well, yeah. Let's start with war. Okay. I think war is number one because okay. war is actually a Haile Selassie speech that was adapted into a song. Mm. So those lyrics come straight from the source of Rastafari knowledge, which is Haile Selassie the first, the mm. emperor of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And you would say next. I would say next. For me personally, for my personal journey, I'd say Concrete Jungle because it really breaks down the class and social system of, of you know, what we've created in the colonial world. Mm. What you see in America is going to be very similar to Jamaica because it all stems from the British colonial true, system. True, true, so, true, true. you know, that breaks down the the, you know... The whole consciousness of how they built the monetary system into what we see, you know, that lyric, no, sh no chains around my mm. feet, but I'm not free. You know, I'm bound here in captivity. They're, they're bound by their monetary restrictions. They don't have fiscal Stuff and, you know, fame. yeah. So yeah. he's, he's, he, I like that song because he really tackles it in a, in a deep way mm -hmm. and he gets to the kind of church soul singing mm -hmm. that, that that's, I love. That's you that, know, that, yeah. in that period of the Sam Cooke thing. Give me one more then. Oh, um, oh this one, uh, you know, Where you going? It, it's so classic, but it, it's the best one. Get up, stand up. It's just, you know. Because <laughs> it does everything. Because it does everything. It's party. It's protest. It's, party. it's, protest. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the best yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, do, you yeah, know, it's yeah. just like stand yeah, up stand up for your rights. rights. <laughs> which one did you did you do that? Which, which one did you? Which I song did. Did you do? Uh, well, it's funny because we actually did some Charles Mingus as well as Bob uh, Marley. We haven't spoken about Charles Mingus. Oh, okay. We can talk yeah, about Charles yeah, Mingus, yeah, 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 yes. but um. Yeah, I did Concrete Jungle uh -huh. and um, War. War, okay. And um, it's funny to kind of tie in with, you know, the the mixed race kind of aesthetic man. Charles Mingus. Charles Mingus. I know. You know, and it's there. like, you don't really... I was about to go there. You don't really... Two biracial yeah, men. Yeah, two... Yeah, semi-biracial men, but, but they've assimilated into blackness, you know? And they've... And that is it's who the only, they, it was the only one to do. Yeah, it's the only, yeah, it's, it's yeah. similar to like a Lester Young or yeah. Jelly Roll Martin. Well, then we're kind of going in the sphere of the light. Color, yeah, yeah, light. Man. Yeah, which is different which even is different, from Charles Mingus. And and what period 
of time you were born. Yeah, in. yeah. If you were born in the twenties in New Orleans, uh-huh. it's a different vibe uh-huh. than eighteen hundreds in New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh.
thank you to all those who watch or who will be watching this. And, and thank you again always to Alex Norton. We love you. And everyone else there, Joe's Pub, Isabel. And we hope that you've enjoyed and will enjoy. And my name is Michael Muenzo, and this is... Russell Hall. Thank you very much. Mwah.